after, good afternoon and welcome to the Davies Use Case webinar being presented by Stanford Children's Health on Co-Effectiveness. This is Davies award-winning use case for the value of health IT. My name is Arnold Simmons and I'm the manager of quality and patient safety, and it's my pleasure to moderate this presentation. Quorum's mission is promoting the use of health IT to improve the quality of health care delivery. Tim Oates advocates the integration of clinical decision support and best practice guidance, access to clinical data to analyze progress, and to enable patient safety tools for all healthcare organizations, clinicians, patients, and community members as, their vehicle, as vehicles for improving patient outcomes. The Nicholas E. Davies Award of Excellence is the pinnacle of the Value Recognition Program. The Davies Award recognizes outstanding achievement of organizations from around the world who have utilized health information technology to improve pain outcome and value. The Davies Award winning use cases have been peer reviewed to validate sustainable, improved pain and business outcome resulting from health IT enabled care delivery. It's my pleasure to welcome speakers for today's webinar, uh, Dr. Andrew Shen and Dr. Claudia Algazi. Uh, patient, and I'll turn it over to you. I'm Andrew Shin. Uh, I am the Associate Medical Director for Cardiovascular and Intensive Care Services. I'm a Medical Director for the Center of Analytics and Clinical Effectiveness. I'm Bate. I'm a Pediatric Cardiologist and Associate Director of our Clinical Effectiveness Program. Uh, to um, share our experience um, and journey with clinical effectiveness, um, and we're very privileged to be speaking on behalf of uh, HIMS uh, and the organization. The whole problem that we started with is the fact that uh, Lucille Children's Hospital at Stanford Children's Health is unique in the sense of the number and volume of complex patients uh, we have. Um, this is a data uh, graph that shows uh, from the Pediatric Health Information System data. Uh, the case mix complexity of Packard tends to oscillate uh, between the number one and number two position. Um, so our case mix index um, tends to exceed that of uh, many other children's hospitals. Uh, problems um, uh, not just with the care of the uh, children, but the efficiency of the care of children. Um, specific when it comes to uh, capacity issues, when it comes to length of stay, um, and the problem of um, of that coupled with the fact that uh, care in general. It's uh, being driven from volume uh, to value-driven healthcare uh, is, is becoming a, a salient um, uh, point at, at Stanford. Um, at the clinical effectiveness program is really focused on seeing if informatics um, uh, and the use of the information within the electronic health record can help with the transition from volume-driven healthcare to that of value-driven healthcare. The problem is also one of national problems. Uh, where there's well documentation of massive variations in clinical practice, um, which leads to a high rate of inappropriate care. Um, there's also well documented reports that there are acceptable rates of preventable care associated patient injury and death, uh, and also the striking inability to do what we know work, um, specifically when it comes to clinical practice guidelines, um, when it comes to checklists, uh, and other uh, ways. All of this culminates to a significant amount of waste leading to rising prices, ultimately limit access to health care. This is the intensive care unit uh, for a child who's recovering from congenital heart surgery. Uh, you can see the degree and amount of technology that is needed and necessary for uh, the support of this patient. Um, as you can see, um, and as we've all experienced, the amount of technology and the amount of data generated from that technology uh, is uh, really outstripping our pace uh, to, uh, uh, to really stand and cognitive pro 
across all of that data. Um, but for us, we, we, we think that this might actually be an opportunity uh, to see if we can leverage the information and the data that's being generated from the electronic health record into a way so that we can gain a little bit more situational awareness of our practice. So the effect in this program here at Packard um, is a program that is really grounded in learning the most, most effective and sustainable models to reduce unnecessary variation while maintaining and improving outcomes for our patients. Um, we have a preoccupation with value, um, specifically in our healthcare system, mostly for the patients and families, but also very sensitive to the organization and maintaining organizational health. And we want to do this with a data-driven and a data-transparent approach. Uh, we'd like to supplement existing organizational process improvements as well as quality improvement infrastructure within the, within the hospital um, and, and really uh, not replace it, but instead uh, be able to complement uh, our activities with those of quality improvement. How we ourselves is just as important as how we ultimately implemented our, our program. Um, the governance body of clinical effectiveness is the body that really determines the priorities um, and, and the resources for, for the program's ultimate growth, uh, scalability, and sustainability. Um, this governance uh, body is represented by uh, shareholders when it comes to uh, executive leadership and administrative leadership, um, and we report out to the performance improvement um, body uh, within the organization as well as the quality improvement body within the organization. Um, that includes the board of directors. Um, the governance interfaces closely with the core uh, group, which is the basically the brain trust or the uh, or the thought leaders within clinical effectiveness, and here's where we ultimately plan to develop and implement um, many of our initiatives. Uh, measure outcomes here and we um, measure processes and balancing metrics as well as iteratively improve upon uh, our program. Um, the core team interfaces uh, with the existing infrastructure when it comes to quality improvement um, and that's the use of microsystems or local improvement teams. Um, these local improvement teams represent the units, in which case the, uh, which further represents the interface between patients and providers. Um, the microsystems provide uh, critical feedback to us um, as being able to monitor and audit our work. I uh, stand before you here um, uh, in, as a representative of a, a, a big team of representing clinical effectiveness uh, that again, is a multidisciplinary uh, perspective um, with representing nursing to informatics to physicians and surgeons um, as well as analytics and informatics. Our implementation uh, really focuses on a problem uh, that the hospital is, is um, uh, sensitive to. And that is the fact that uh, Lucio Packard Children's Hospital tends to run uh, near or at capacity nearly all of the time. Um, there's also a significant amount of variation in care. As a result, there's also variation in our outcomes. And ultimately, that culminates into suboptimal value. We take costly and we don't have the high quality to really account for that. So our, our goals immediately within the first two years of our program was to reduce the unnecessary length of stay um, for our elective surgical cases. We strategically focused on the heart center um, as the pilot division, given uh, the heart center's cultural readiness for improvement work. Our outcomes primarily was the duration of uh, mechanical ventilation following surgery, the number of intensive care uh, days and the total hospital days uh, as well. Our centrics were included the total hospital cost as well as family satisfaction and a preoccupation with safety here and we want to really focus on reintubation um, and re readmissions to the IC within 48 hours as well as 30-day readmission rates to the hospital. I focused initially on uh, the the cardiology specifically because of cultural readiness, but there is from a cost perspective as well. As congenital heart disease accounts for approximately $6 billion in uh, annual hospital costs, and compared with other birth defects, congenital disease are often associated with some of the highest hospital costs and charges. Um, 